They simply took off after enjoying a sushi buffet on Easter Sunday. The three women were seated at this booth. One of the women ordered the all you can eat sushi buffet, while the other two said they still needed to look at the menu. And the one woman ordered enough for a small army, of course. The server, Anna, caught on to what they were trying to pull. When she saw the three of them meeting, and she said, well, you know, the price is per person. And they said, well, okay, then we'll pay for three. But then it seems plan B kicked in. Surveillance video shows one of the ladies get up and leave. And as we come to find out from looking at the video, she went and got the getaway car ready. A few minutes later, the other two walk out, leaving only $25, enough for one buffet order. Their bill was $77. Dang. They really wanted to get away with it. They thought that they could. They thought that they were like Einstein level for that plan. As if nobody's ever tried to pay for one person and feed three at a buffet before. You think you're clever? You think you're cute? Mm -mm. They got you on security. Now you're on the news. That's embarrassing. And uh, you know, realize that yes, they've they've done you know dawn and dash with us. They left in this white car. 48 hours earlier, this is them at the Royal in East Perth. They racked up about a $240 tab and literally ran away. Staff at Three Sheets in Hillary say they've struck there twice. Oh, wow, that's crazy. I have personally never dined and dashed. I do have an experience where I could have dined and dashed because the waiter who was waving our table with the people that I went literally took an hour between giving us our bill and actually letting us pay for our bill. We could have walked out and they would have never known, but I have integrity. I have morals, okay? Moral of the story is, folks, don't dine and dash. I do not agree with this method. If you can't pay to eat there, don't eat there. It's that simple. <laughs> it was daylight when this group of 12 arrived at Old School Pizza. It was dark when they made their exit, bellies full. I felt sick in the stomach, honestly. Gorging themselves on food, they racked up a $500 wow. bill. But then this, the group did a runner. Like, what are people saying to you? Look, a lot of people are saying this generation has, has unfortunately uh, uh, fallen, fallen a bit short. And I've got faith in this generation. Cam's got so much faith, he's invited the boys back, even though not one of them has since contacted him and offered to pay. Gents, I just wanted to let you know, um, we forgive you here at Old School Pizza, but we just hope that you've learnt your lesson. Um, you're welcome back here. But an apology would be would be nice. Wow, he is such a kind soul. You can feel it in the way that he talks about these kids. Because not saying that they did anything right, because they definitely didn't. This was very wrong of them. But like he knows that they're children. And I don't know if that should excuse everything that kids do, but kids are kids can do some dumb stuff, right? Because kids are kids, they're curious, they think they're cool, they want to run around and be like everybody else. So like they probably seen this on like a TV show or you know, heard their friend next door say, like, hey, I just hit up this restaurant and didn't pay. Like, oh dude, let's try it. Like, you know how kids are. How However, $500, that's a massive bill. And if he's at a pizza place, he looks like a smaller pizza place. You know, like a little family owned business or something. Like, dude, $500 is a lot of money taken off that. That's crazy, bro. Nine and Dashing will always like, and just surprises me every time. Like, it's crazy to me. Search is on for about 15 people accused of skipping out on a nearly $300 bill. Take a really close look at this surveillance video inside a Cheddar's Casual Cafe in Tamarack because there are 15 people in total police are looking for Dang. for allegedly dining and dashing. They came in, they order appetizers, they order their entrees, a lot of liquor, a lot of drinks. Miguel Flores waited on the group who was there celebrating a birthday party on October 10th at the restaurant off West Commercial Boulevard and North University Drive. I couldn't get out of the tables because they were overwhelming and I thought maybe if I took care of them right maybe they'll tip me right some casually walking out others running and by the time miguel came back they were gone Ugh, just irritates me to no end man because it's like it's a, you didn't pay for your bill but we're seeing firsthand that it's not just the restaurant that suffers it's the employee as well like he said like i couldn't really like take good care of my other tables but you've taken care of this 15 top because you think that's going to be like your entire night little do you know that not only are they not going to tip you they're not even going to pay their bill they're just going to leave so rude so entitled mm-mm I hate it. His family walked out on their $200 bill because the server said they can't have a dog on the table and then called us Karens. Love it. Love it.
Imagine. Imagine being this angry because they're like, yeah, can you just not put your dog like on the table since this isn't, I don't know, your house or like a barn? <laughs> I wish I could hear what she was saying. I wish I could hear what she was saying. Very classy. Uh, very classy. Walking out on your bill, dog on the table, yelling and cursing at people, giving them the finger. I love it. You probably have got a lot of good stuff going on in your life. And that's the way that you are acting. We love it. Brian in with the story of one man in Palm Beach County who detectives say has done it dozens of times and is back at it again. He had a roast duck Get with uh, rice pilaf and green beans. He had a mixed green salad and finished up with a chocolate fudge cake. Robinson even had a couple of Long Islands, but when it came time to pay, he told Peter he forgot his debit card. He sat here knowing full well that he didn't have any money and enjoyed every minute of it. Turns out Robinson has been arrested at least 33 times. Police say he shows up to fancy restaurants, eats a delicious meal, and doesn't pay. If I was going to do what he did, I'd come here too. Robinson <laughs> spent one night in jail, and Peter hopes he's the final and last guy to get duped. Dang, that is freaking crazy. The man just made a career out of it. I mean, I guess. Uh, sometimes I just don't know what to say, you know? Yeah, like, it's just not a good situation. This is just a bad situation. 33 times. But it's because he knows he just spends the night in jail and that's that. And then he goes and does it again. Yikes. They were, you know, eating it, no, no complaints. Everything was going well. But when it came time to pay the $320 tab, one by one, they trickled out. And the server went to go and get the checks, go and get some to-go boxes and but what we noticed was a few went outside to the car, a couple went to the bathroom, and then they all basically made a run for the door. But not without grabbing their to-go wow. boxes. 14 people. Just get 14? up and wander out. What are you thinking? When we find you, and we will, you are going to the Polk County Jail for a free meal. Wow, he's not playing around, period. He said, you are going to jail for a free meal. Yeah, 14 people is crazy, first of all. And second of all, I just feel like, you know these places have cameras, right? Like you're gonna get caught. Why are you doing it? Like, is there a thrill that people get out of dining and dashing? Like, I don't understand, because it's a very common thing. Like people do this on a day-to-day -day basis, which just blows my mind. When they came at the last minute, and we didn't think anything of it. He says they treated themselves, ordering some of the most expensive things on the menu, including $11 margaritas. The uh, burritos, the Hefe Grande burritos, the uh, Frida special steaks, you know, steak and shrimp. At this point, Gonzalez says the group started berating the staff. It started uh, getting Great. louder and louder, getting upset, started yelling. Eventually, one by one, people finish their drinks and leave the table, except for these two women left behind. They didn't seem to be in as much of a hurry. She even carries her blue margarita away from the table and continues to drink it after the group awesome. ignores staff and skips out on their $420 bill. Gonzalez says they even pushed one of the servers in the stairwell. He says he's never seen anything like it. Nice. That's just really, really like good behavior. Really good behavior. I hope that they feel really good. I hope that they like found these people and they got fined. I hope they had to pay their bill and then also more on top of it. It's just like people who dine and dash really irritate me. Somebody who works at a restaurant. Luckily, I haven't really had to deal with that very many times, but it happens. With so many new takeout orders online and through apps came a new challenge called friendly fraud or chargebacks. It's when a customer mm. orders food, often through a delivery service, receives it, but disputes the charge with their credit card company to get a refund. One day, Yunjin got her biggest order ever for more than 700 bucks. He came and then he picked up the food, and then one week later, he disputed a charge. She lost everything, the food, the money, Money, and it kept happening over and over. I just felt so, you know, incredibly helpless and frustrated. So she made the decision to close up shop for good. Saturday will be her last day, much to her customers' dismay. But patrons saw her struggles and stepped in to help, raising more than $60,000 on a GoFundMe page. Oh my gosh, I was not expecting that nice happy ending. Wow, well that was nice. Hopefully they're still open. Yeah, like I don't even know. I work at a restaurant and I know that this happens a lot, like a lot more than you would think. It's very, because people just think like, whatever, I can get away with it. And it's not Uber or DoorDash or whatever that's paying for it. They charge it back to the restaurant, which is, crazy so yeah this is pretty wild a 700 dollars order like 
no ma'am. But like, what do you even do? I don't know, take a video of you packing every order? Like, jeez. Video shows a group of people believed to be a eight. family of eight walking into Easy Breezy Frozen Yogurt in West Portal on January 25th before closing. We grabbed our largest cups and just started filling them up with yogurts and toppings and uh, just what? waltzed right out. You know, we're laughing about it. And then owner Ariel Ford said, seen in the red, grabbed the tip jar before leaving. Ford said what's worse is the family returned a few days later with an even larger group seen here on surveillance video. One even stopped to grab a napkin. That's audacity if I've ever seen it. You pull up to a place, waltz out, not even run. These guys weren't trying to be discreet about anything. They purposely went in there to steal. Then they walk out. You know, they get away with it. Woo, freedom, we didn't pay. Why do they come back with a bigger group? Like, just because you got away with it the first time, you thought, what, you can come back and do the same thing? They're going to call the police on you. They probably already did, but you this is a second offense. Now, you're probably going to jail. Yep, yeah, and you're going to jail. Like, that's jail time. Oh. You want the <laughs> This is the panic of, you know, getting caught doing the wrong thing. Uh-oh, there's consequences to your actions, okay? And sometimes you gotta pay them, and yeah, it's a little nerve-wracking, isn't it? They're really feeling the heat in that one. Security video shows four young diners eating Korean barbecue Sunday night, and then the young women get up and leave. The last man sitting at the table asks the waiter for the check. As soon as he leaves, the diner looks around and then walks away. You can see him run across the intersection and into a waiting parked car on Clement Street. The tab? $150. It was the second day in a row K Elements Barbecue was hit. These are the faces of three young women, some of them smiling as they make a run for it on Saturday. The restaurant's co-owner says they just finished a $100 meal and skipped out on the bill. Dang, twice in two days. That is too much. That is too, too much. I feel like I've been lucky. Like I've had very few Dine and Dash experiences in my serving career thus far. Servers of the world, do you work at a place that gets this a lot? What do you do? Are there classic warning signs to look out for? I got a lot of questions. Let me know, let me know. I've only ex really experienced this maybe once. These two women are the latest to Dine and Dash from out front of Clam Bar. The two popped in Tuesday night. See them sitting outside here, and once no one's looking, they leave a full table and hightail it to the parking lot. Nee says this has happened three times by different people, leading to a loss of around $700. Uh, $700 is a lot. I think no matter what, losing money is tough, but definitely losing money in that sense where it's like racking up, like that's crazy. I personally don't think you should be stealing, period, but like, especially if your bill is like over $100. Like there's an especially there for a reason because you shouldn't be doing it, period, but especially if you're eating for over $100, what are you not paying for? Like what? That's people's time, service, and hard work going into that. Like just do your part. It's that simple. You wanna enjoy the good food, you gotta pay for it too. Dine and Dash caught on camera. A bunch showed up at a restaurant, ordered $500 worth of food and drinks, then leave without paying. It's just like so much money too. Like so much. Why, why, why? If you can't pay for it, don't do it. You don't have to spend $500 on food and drinks. You can spend way less money and have them at home and nobody gets affected. Three men, more than $60 worth of food, and no check. That's the equation one Little Rock restaurant is trying to work out after a trio just got up and walked out on their bill. CU Wong was manning the register, dealing with another customer who couldn't pay. She tried to stop the team from leaving. Sir, you guys didn't pay yet. And he said, oh, my friend pay, pay for me already. All four ended up skipping the bill, around $80 lost. Recently, it always happened, almost every day. The buffet has added more cameras and are turning over all dashers to the police. It's the latest effort to save a family business.
dang, man, this sucks. Man, it seems like they were like young, so I hope that they passed along this footage to their parents so they could, you know, see what's going on. Nip that in the bud and let them know that that's not okay. Why did they not know that already? You know, it's just youth is not an excuse all the time. You know what I mean? You should know better than that. You know that that's wrong and you're doing it anyway. And now you're on the news. Okay, that's embarrassing. To be on the news is embarrassing. Unless it's for something good, obviously. Marlon Stanfield had lunch on Tuesday at this Buffalo Wild Wings in Ferndale. But instead of paying his $16 bill, police say he dined and dashed. Soon after, Ferndale police pulled him over. Our officer took identification from him, tried to convince him to, just, to go back to the restaurant and pay his bill. But after a couple of minutes, Stanfield yelled an obscenity at the officers and dashed again. They were right next to his driver's door. He cut the wheel to the left and uh, began to take off. And the chase was on. Police say Stanfield went as fast to 75 miles an hour in a 35 mile per hour zone. They decided to stop their pursuit soon after it started. It was a minor offense. There was no use in endangering anybody. Since the cops had Stanfield's license, they knew where he lived, so they came here to his Detroit neighborhood and waited at his house. 20 minutes later, he showed up and he was arrested. Now the 35-year-old is facing felony charges for fleeing and eluding, something police say he could have avoided had he just paid that bill. That was a $16 tab. <laughs> Oh my god, he did all of that for 16 bucks? I like the story just kept getting worse. Like they just kept going and I'm like, stop. The man literally paid, he could have avoided jail time and additional charges and fees. Had he paid the $16, he should have paid in the first place. Bro, humanity is something else. Like, huh? I'm actually flabbergasted right now. I'm so blown away by what I just watched. <laughs> Oh my god, you had all these other stories of like the $250 bill, the $380 bills, you know, rocking up the $700. Then this guy comes out of nowhere with $16 bills, like be so serious, bro. Doesn't pay bill, forgets her phone, and takes it to go order. Your boyfriend said he pays the bill, what do you guys want me to do? Yeah, well, I'm like, you know what, still, if you want to play that, I know, I used to work for Denny's, and I know that this is a civil matter. You guys do not I can sue the out of you right now. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> imagine, imagine. You're only that mad because you got caught and it's embarrassing to get caught doing something shitty. <laughs> I could sue the out of you guys. I'd be like, do it. Then do it. You have the money to sue Denny's, the corporation? Do it. I implore you. And then you can explain to a court of law how you dined and dashed. Sure, be my guest. Take a look. This is from 938 Crawfish, a Vietnamese Cajun fusion restaurant. It shows five women enter the restaurant, they sit down, they have a meal, they leave without paying their more than $200 bill. The owner calls the dine and dash overwhelming and heartbreaking, saying small businesses are trying their best to recover and events like this make it nearly impossible. It's so true. Was the one lady at the end looking directly at the camera? <laughs> Probably trying to figure out if it was a camera or not. Yeah, man, like it's so just shady to do that. And also it's never like people who just go in, get like one small thing because they're just really hungry. And then like it's people going, they're getting drinks, they're getting appetizers, entrees, dessert. They're getting the works, their courses, like the whole nine yards. They're going all out just to know that they're gonna walk out. You know, it just like is extra rude. Two women came to Wild Sage last weekend for dinner and the owner says they had the full meal deal. They had a couple of very nice entrees, they had drinks, they had a couple of salads. The bill totaling $105. They asked for the dessert menu, then they told their waiter they were going outside to have a smoke break. They took their purse and their jackets with them when they were headed outside, so their server became suspicious. And uh, he watched them, and then they started running down the street. The alert server chased and caught one of the ladies, Kayla Ennis, identified by police, who said her friend, Sarah Richardson, was supposed to pay the bill. The waiter told her she had to pay for her food, so he tried running all of the credit cards in her wallet. They were all denied, according to the owner here. The waiter called police. <laughs> this girl said the full meal deal. That was so funny, the way she reported that. <laughs> <laughs> like she couldn't even understand the audacity of these two women. <laughs> And the fact that they ran and got caught, I was just about to be like, dude, why'd you run after them? But the fact that he caught them is crazy. Like, and then she goes back, he's trying to swipe her credit cards and they decline. That's giving you shouldn't have been there in the first place. 
That's giving you should have ate at home. And at least if you're gonna, you know what, I'm not even gonna say at least because you really shouldn't be dining and dashing, but why specifically are you spending so much money you know you can't pay? It'd be different if it was like the last dude's $16 bill, but like, <laughs> it's not. That's $105, it's a big deal to restaurants. Like they're gonna be more serious about a bill that's $105 versus a $16 bill. Even though the police were not filling in with that guy. As soon as he fled, they were like, yeah, and he's going to jail. <laughs> Schmuller says he was livid when he learned that two men came into the restaurant last Wednesday ordered top shelf liquor and some of Crop's most expensive dishes and then fled without paying. They did so by indicating they were going outside to smoke and never returned. Schmuller mm. says he learned that the two men had been pulling the same stunt at other Cleveland bars and restaurants in recent weeks. Flowers says the suspect, 30-year-old Matt Garreau, tried several times to get away, but with the help of Steve Schmuller, who had been summoned to Johnny's, was able to restrain Garo until Cleveland police arrived. I love it. I love it. He got arrested. I love seeing the mug shop. It really brings me joy. Yeah, that's why I'm always like people for sure. Like people need to go out to smoke and it happens. But like leave something, leave something in the restaurant. I'll watch it for you. If you indicate to me like just going out for a smoke, left my bag there. Do you mind? I will even sometimes put it behind the bar if it's really busy and I don't have time to watch it. I'll be like, let me take it for you where it's for sure safe. But like, I'll always watch your stuff for you if you just want to go outside for a smoke. But if you go outside for a smoke and you don't, and like you don't leave anything, I get a little nervous. I'm keeping my eye on the outside. I'm not paying for your food because you can't or don't want to. It's not my job. Hell no. It has to be one of the worst dine and dash attempts in the history of New Mexico. What was so dumb about it? There were four police officers eating in the same restaurant. He showed up to eat breakfast. He ended up leaving in handcuffs. This is what crooks do. They're not smart. So this guy is trying to rip off a business. Officers are there on scene. They just so happened to be at the right place at the right time. Officers on their break early yesterday morning at this IHOP near Central and Eubank noticed Joseph Hoffney behaving suspiciously. Kind of walking back and forth. Uh, seems to want to leave the building. Well, it turns out he doesn't want to pay the bill. That's why he was doing that. Dang, I like that everybody's just absolutely roasting him. Even like the news reporter just called it dumb. <laughs> just absolutely savage. But I mean, it kind of was, to be fair. So today these people dine and dashed on a tag. Waiter tried to run after them, but they all ran into different cars and drove off. Decided to make them famous. Oh no. <laughs> That's crazy. Like, not the Govy name on the belt. Are you, cr oh no, unless that was the waiter's name. But that <laughs> That's crazy. The guy said that they ran in different directions to their cars. You know what? I was supposed to be like, that's low-key smart, but I'm not condoning this. I'm not giving praise to a bunch of t people, okay? No, but it was smart. <laughs> Running in different directions. They knew someone was gonna get caught or maybe no one, but they knew not all of them was gonna get caught. But it's not funny. It's not. We're moving on. Oh my God, a TikTok view. Oh, that was not TikTok view killer. When we saw people dine and dash. Oh, that's crazy. Not the eyewitness. When we saw people dine and dash. Let's go outside to the parking lot. Oh, did she really? Oh no, wait. That's funny. Yeah, she told him to go go grab grab the license plates. That's insane. Can you imagine you're like out dining? Like I've never, you know, I I will say right now, my life has been very average because I've never had this happen to me. I've never been in a restaurant where someone's dining and dashing, or maybe they have and I just was unaware. But I've never personally seen this, you know, be, been an eyewitness of this with my own two, you know, pupils. Like I've never, I've never seen this. Never seen it. Damn, my nigga. <laughs> Can't pay for that breakfast. Dang. Hey. Dang. Dang. <laughs> like, make them come. <laughs> Dang. Dang. He's getting roasted by the other people. There's a difference to me between people who like need help and who are having a hard time and like a classic dine and dasher. Because a lot of dine and dashers can go in and could potentially pay for a meal, but they choose not to because they're entitled and selfish and rude. But there are people who like maybe steal food because they can't afford it and while that's also not okay and i don't even know the situation here to be honest with you like i clearly have no idea we saw somebody getting roasted and that's about it but like i just want to say that those are two very different things according to the restaurant the group ate don't just about dash. everything and racked up a 67 dollar bill and then it's when really they were almost done all. eating 
they started complaining that the food was not good. They didn't, didn't want to pay or anything like that. Without paying, the group left, but not without one of the kids allegedly yelling out racial slurs at Kelly Yu. Top oh, Shelf nice. Mexican Cantina tells three in her side that the same group, along with their dog, consumed big plates of food. After complaining that they were not satisfied with their meals, the group bolted. China Chili, located in Central Phoenix, says the same thing and tells nice. us the same group tried to pull off the scheme at their restaurant. Nice. That actually is like pretty common where people who like do dine and dash things like this, they don't just hit one place, they do it to a bunch. Like they don't talk to each other. Also, it's just like at the restaurant as a server, if somebody complains to me about their food, but you ate the whole thing, you have to pay for it. Full price. Not even giving you a discount. Because why would you eat it if you if it was that bad? Nope. If you eat the thing, you pay the price. If you complain and like you've had a few bites, I will get it remade. I will get you something new, like no problem at all. And like whatever's cheaper you'll end up paying for. Like, you know what I mean? I will get you something new. Yeah. If you eat the whole thing and that's like not just me, that's like a pretty common restaurant thing. So if you don't like your food, for sure, mention it before you eat it, but don't eat the whole thing and then complain because at that point, not only do I not care, but you ate it. Third woman has now come forward to say a man who's been accused of dining and dashing did it to her. This is the latest restaurant where the dine and dasher left his date with the check. She said when they met at BJ's in Pasadena, he ordered right away. She says after he scarfed down most of his meal, he got up. Left maybe like half a baked potato and then received a phone call and said, um, oh, I need to take this call. Make sure they don't take the rest of my meal. But she says he never returned, leaving her with the bill. Beth says she went online and discovered our previous stories about Gonzalez, how he had dined and dashed last summer, leaving at least two other women with large bills. Police say he also committed a snip and ditch when security video caught him leaving a Burbank hair salon with his smock on after getting a cut in color last year. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is so ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Where, where is this man now? <laughs> I need to know, where is this man now? What happened? Is there an ending to this saga? I don't freaking know. Is he still out there? Serial dashing? Oh my gosh. That is absolutely wild. I... <laughs> Cannot believe that. You know, we sitting there vibing, eating, drinking, having good conversation. The couple behind us, they busting down drinks. I mean, three, four margaritas, shots, fajitas, tacos, the whole nine yard. So it's time to pay the bill and baby boy gets up and walks out. So old girl is like, uh, you just gonna leave? You gonna leave me like that? What you gonna do, dine and dash? He like, look, I'll be right back. I'm coming back. Bro was gone for 30 minutes. Wouldn't come back in the restaurant. Security is trying to get him out, get him back in. The girl goes to the car. She's trying to get him back in. Wow, that was a lot in one time. Oh, that's crazy. So he went on a date, I'm assuming, and he left his date behind because he didn't want to pay. That's so lame. That's so lame. There had to have been red flags that we saw before we went on this date with this dude. Like, there's no way he's like the perfect guy and then you get to dinner and he doesn't want to pay for your meal because he can't. Like, I have to die. Like, there has to have been something that should have you should have seen some type of sign and then been like oh shit maybe i shouldn't go out to dinner with him like did you ignore it because there had to be a sign there had to be there's no way there wasn't <laughs> like a oh, woman left id on table after dying and dash this is news and it's called morning morons are they even allowed police That's are looking crazy. for a 23 year old south carolina woman why well i guess she decided to dine and dash and now they know who she is because she left her ID behind on the table. Yeah, man, like that's just instant karma if I've ever heard of it in my life. I love it. That's what happens. Ew. Ew. Nice, you just contaminated all of their food for the rest of the evening, probably. That's lovely, that's really silly and fun. Probably have a really cool personality. So annoying, I hate when people do things like that. It's like when you see people in the store like spitting in things or whatever. I'm like, it's just not funny. It's just not funny. Like tell a joke or something. Do something actually funny. Or like, I don't know, be nice. <laughs> It's really easy. It's really easy to just not be the worst like that.